when he was with me, I thought I was helping him go to the next part of his life. My heart would always just stop for a while and then come back because um, these are very emotional times. And it's really difficult to explain because the type of relationship we had, you only get that once in a lifetime, so we gave each other a lot. Jasmine Guy and Jada Pinkett Smith, two powerhouse women both connected to Tupac Shakur. But behind the glamorous smiles lies a decades long tension. You lived and he up. told me he was gonna, he wasn't gonna make it past 25. I always thought he was just talking shit all the time. That's legend, put that in the book. I was like, I'm not writing a book about you. From Jasmine secretly nursing Tupac back to health after his first shooting, to Jada's unrelenting obsession with the rap icon. Even Will Smith has confessed his jealousy. Oh my no. God, that dude, let me die. and you know, and that was in the, that was in the early days. Yeah. That was in the early days, and it was like, that was a big regret for me too. So, what really caused this feud? Did Jasmine's relationship with Tupac spark a rivalry Jada has never let go of? Or was it something deeper, something that Hollywood has tried to keep under wraps? Jasmine Guy isn't just the beloved star of a different world. She's also a key figure in Tupac Shakur's life story. In the early 90s, long before his iconic rivalry with Biggie or Jada Pinkett's marriage to Will Smith, Tupac found solace in Jasmine Guy's care. After surviving his first shooting in 1994, he stayed with Jasmine at her home in New York, away from the media frenzy and dangerous streets. You know, I just felt happy that I could help in some way and that they allowed me to come in to their very close circuit. And also that, um, you know, Tupac could, could chill a little bit and, and try and get better. But that act of kindness may have done more than heal Tupac's wounds. It inadvertently sparked one of Hollywood's most whispered about rivalries. Jada Pinkett, who has never hidden her love and admiration for Tupac, reportedly became hostile toward Jasmine over her closeness to him. This wasn't just platonic jealousy. Sources suggest that Jada's obsession with Tupac led to bitter feelings toward anyone who shared a deeper bond with him, especially someone like Jasmine, who was rumored to be romantically involved with the rap legend. That must have been incredible because that ain't been right since. And while Jada's connection to Tupac is legendary, Jasmine's role in his life has remained overshadowed. Why? Is it because Hollywood chose Jada as their golden girl? Or because Jasmine's loyalty to Tupac put her at odds with the industry's powerful figures, including Suge Knight and Diddy? From secret hospital visits to controversial bail money requests, the story of Jasmine Guy and Jada Pinkett Smith's rivalry is layered with scandal, love, and heartbreak. Jasmine Guy and Tupac Shakur's paths first crossed through Jada Pinkett, a key player in both their lives. Jada and Tupac have formed a deep connection in their youth, one that Jada described as soulmate, though not romantic. Jasmine entered this dynamic somewhat unexpectedly, but her immediate chemistry with Tupac established her as one of his closest confidants during his rise to fame in the early 1990s. While Tupac was known for his hard edge persona, those close to him often saw a different side, a sensitive artistic soul who sought loyalty and honesty in a world of chaos. Chaos. Jasmine, with her nurturing personality and strong will, became a stabilizing force for him. Their connection reportedly went beyond mere friendship. Some sources have suggested that Jasmine and Tupac were romantically involved, though neither ever confirmed this publicly. Jasmine's feelings for Tupac seemed undeniable, and those close to the rapper speculated that he reciprocated those emotions at least to a certain extent. What is clear is that Jasmine was there for Tupac when he needed support the most, a bond that was cemented during one of the darkest chapters of his life. And they said, and surprisingly handsome rapper. I said, surprisingly? surprisingly. <laughs> Yeah. How insulting! In 1994, Tupac was ambushed and shot five times at Quad Recording Studios in Manhattan, an incident that not only left him physically wounded, but also mentally shaken. During this time, Jasmine took on the role of a caretaker, not only for Tupac's physical wounds, but also for his emotional and mental well-being. 
In 1995, Tupac was incarcerated following an essay conviction, an experience that deeply affected him. According to some accounts, Jasmine stepped in once again, attempting to secure his bail. She reportedly reached out to Biggie Smalls, Tupac's one-time friend turned rival, to request financial assistance for Tupac's release. While Biggie was unable to help, likely due to his own contractual entanglements with Bad Boy Records, Jasmine's actions spoke volumes about her loyalty to Tupac. She was willing to bridge even the most contentious divides for his sake, a testament to the depth of her care and commitment. And Jasmine had came to him and asked him for some money, but he didn't have no money to give Pac because his contract that he had did, the people who was managing him had got him into a a effed up agreement. This unwavering loyalty, however, came with its challenges. Jasmine's close relationship with Tupac placed her under scrutiny, especially as tensions between him and Biggie escalated into one of the most infamous feuds in hip hop history. While Jasmine avoided the limelight, her involvement in Tupac's life didn't go unnoticed. Rumors swirled about her intentions, with some speculating that she was romantically entangled with Tupac, while others viewed her as a maternal figure in his chaotic world. Tupac himself seemed to value Jasmine's presence in his life immensely. He reportedly spoke of her kindness and loyalty to his inner circle, emphasizing the rare quality of her character in an industry often marred by superficiality and betrayal. For Tupac, Jasmine was not just a friend or confidant. She represented a sense of stability and humanity that he struggled to find elsewhere. You know, I just felt happy that I could help in some way and that they allowed me to come in to their very close circuit. And also that, um, you know, Tupac could, could chill a little bit and, and try and get better. Despite their bond, Jasmine's role in Tupac's life has often been overshadowed by his more public relationships, particularly with Jada Pinkett. You see, Jada Pinkett's relationship with Tupac Shakur has long been a source of intrigue and speculation. From their teenage years at the Baltimore School for the Arts, their bond grew deep, with Jada often describing Tupac as a soulmate who understood her like no one else. Their connection was profound but complicated blending a unique mix of friendship, admiration, and unresolved tension. After deep reflection and spiritual awakening, I have come to realize the friend, love, and soulmate was there all the time. I have not seen or felt from anywhere or anyone the intensity and loyalty that you have shown me. However, as Tupac's life became intertwined with Jasmine guys, whispers of jealousy and rivalry began to circulate. Jada's public expressions of affection for Tupac, such as her heartfelt poems and teary-eyed tributes, only added to the speculation about her true feelings for him. While Jada consistently framed their relationship as platonic, her actions seemed to suggest a deeper, unspoken bond. Her admiration for Tupac was unmatched, and she frequently spoke about how his presence and spirit left a mark on her life. Yet, for all her claims of soulmate status, Tupac's deepening relationship with Jasmine Guy seemed to shift the dynamic, introducing friction into Jada's carefully maintained narrative. We definitely had this beautiful closeness that was really intimate. Reports suggest that tensions began to rise in the early 1990s, particularly when Jasmine Guy entered Tupac's orbit and became a significant part of his personal life. Jasmine, known for her role on the hit show A Different World, provided Tupac with a sanctuary during one of the most turbulent periods of his life. She opened her home to him while he was recovering from gunshot wounds and acted as both a caregiver and confidant. Their relationship, while private, drew enough attention to spark rumors of a romantic connection, something that didn't sit well with Jada. Jada reportedly viewed Jasmine as a rival, not just for Tupac's attention, but also within the Hollywood sphere. Both women were rising stars, carving out their own niches in an industry rife with competition. While Jada had the public's admiration for her fierce individuality and acting prowess, Jasmine exuded a different kind of allure, one rooted in her poised demeanor and subtle yet powerful on-screen presence. Presence. Their professional paths rarely crossed, but the shared connection to Tupac brought their personal lives into an uncomfortable intersection. Jasmine's association with Tupac, coupled with her refusal to play by Hollywood's rules, made her a target for criticism. Some insiders believe Jasmine's unwavering loyalty to
to Tupac and her alignment with his often controversial stances led to her being subtly blacklisted in certain circles. Unlike Jada, who navigated the political waters of Hollywood with skill, Jasmine's blunt authenticity made her less palatable to industry power players. Their rivalry became more apparent in their differing public personas. While Jada leaned into her role as a cultural trailblazer, often advocating for social justice and self-expression, Jasmine remained relatively private, choosing to focus on her craft and personal relationships. To those observing from the outside, it seemed like Jada wanted to maintain her image as Tupac's closest confidant and ally, while Jasmine represented a more enigmatic and potentially romantic influence in his life. This undercurrent of competition reached its peak during the years when Tupac was embroiled in legal troubles and industry feuds. According to some sources, Jada's efforts to support Tupac during these times were seen as an attempt to reassert her position in his life. Meanwhile, Jasmine's actions, such as taking Tupac into her home and reportedly attempting to secure bail money for him, were viewed as more direct and impactful gestures of loyalty. I, you know, I just felt happy that I could help in some way and that they allowed me to come in to their very close circuit. And also that, um, you know, Tupac could, could chill a little bit and, and try and get better. The media also played a role in amplifying the alleged rivalry. With Tupac at the center of so many controversies, every woman in his life was scrutinized and compared. Jada's history with Tupac was often romanticized, with stories focusing on their shared dreams and artistic sensibilities. In contrast, Jasmine's connection to Tupac was painted in a more pragmatic light, emphasizing her role as a caregiver and steadying influence during his recovery. This dichotomy created a narrative that placed the two women in opposition whether they wanted it or not. Jada's alleged jealousy wasn't just limited to her personal relationship with Tupac, it also intersected with her Hollywood ambitions. As two prominent black actresses in the 1990s, Jasmine and Jada were often pitted against each other by the media and industry insiders. This comparison was further fueled by their different approaches to fame. While Jada cultivated a bold, outspoken spoken image, Jasmine remained understated and focused on her work. These contrasting personalities only heightened the perception of rivalry. What's more, Jada also once posted a photo of her former lover, the late Tupac Shakur. In 2012, the actress tweeted a photo of Tupac embracing and kissing her. The caption read, I miss him. There is also a letter that his daughter Willow wrote to Tupac when she was a kid. She penned a letter saying that she knows Tupac is still alive. It also read, can you please come back so mommy and me can be happy? And I think Think that my mommy really misses you. At the time, fans were convinced that the photo was an indication that Jada was in a loveless marriage. Now, this definitely made Will Smith feel some type of way. Were you ever jealous of the love Jada had for Tupac? Oh, f yeah. <laughs> I oh say my no. God, that dude. Let me, like, and you know, and that was in the that was in the early days. But to be fair, Will Smith and Jada's relationship was doomed from the very beginning. At the time, fans were convinced that the photo was an indication that Jada was in a loveless marriage. Additionally, when Jada turned 37, Will got a bright idea that he would throw his wife an absolutely massive birthday party. He hired a team to make it happen, and he then spent the next three days planning it. He booked Mary J. Blige to perform and even traced her family roots. It was going to be his deepest and most beautiful proclamation of love. But things didn't turn out that way. In fact, Jada absolutely hated the party despite all the effort that he put into it. To Jada, it was the most ridiculous display of his ego. When she told him this, he was devastated and it led him into a depression. To add salt to the injury, Jada also once revealed that Will allegedly wasn't good in bed. One episode of the the Red Table Talk show found her receiving a lot of flack when she had Gwyneth Paltrow on the show. The two celebs started chatting about intimacy. Jada started to talk about her and Will's love life. She wasn't afraid to bring up some issues that they had. Specifically, she talked about how she used to expect Will to read her mind and figure out everything she liked in the bedroom. She candidly said, I think you expect your partner to know what you need, especially when it comes to A.E. Sen. She somehow showed she 
wasn't satisfied when she was with him, probably because he isn't into women. However, word on the grapevine is that Jada has allegedly been helping Will in his gay rendezvous for the longest time. Word on the grapevine is that Jada and Will have been hosting wild gay parties at their house with much younger men. Jaguar Wright even spilled the tea, claiming that she's seen young men leaving their home in a state of shock. Yeah. They're both by they do weird things in their house and young men have left their house to get away from them and their mentorship. Meanwhile, fans have always been convinced that Dwayne had intimate relations with men and that Will was the one who introduced him to it. One fan commented, Will and Dwayne are lovers, to which another fan responded, exactly, LOL, people are so blind. It's obvious they were more than friends. In any case, it now appears that Jada will no longer stand by as Will's wife as he allegedly engages in intimacy with other men. In an exclusive interview with Hoda Colt B on NBC News, Jada Pinkett Smith revealed candid details about her life and relationship with husband Will Smith. This revelation comes as part of the promotion for her new book, Worthy. In the interview, Jada Pinkett Smith disclosed that she and Will Smith have been separated for the past seven years, even during the incident at the 2022 Oscars when Will confronted Chris Rock. She explained that they had not referred to each other as husband and wife in a long time. Despite the separation, they remain committed to each other and their family, which includes their children, Jaden, Willow, and Trey. Anyway, as for Jasmine Guy, her name was tied to another controversial figure in the mid 90s. Suge, as the co-founder of Death Row Records, was a towering figure in the music industry, wielding influence and fear in equal measure. Jasmine's association with him came to light through Danny Boy, a death row artist who recalled seeing Jasmine at Shug's Malibu mansion during the height of his power. According to Danny Boy, Jasmine was spotted in a robe, suggesting she was not just a casual guest, but someone deeply integrated into Shug's world. I remember her having damn near like wrapped around her and damn near like her t I'm like, God damn. This revelation sparked endless speculation about Jasmine's role in Suge's inner circle. Many wondered whether her connection to the death row mogul was an extension of her loyalty to Tupac. By this time, Tupac had become deeply entwined with death row records, a decision that would ultimately shape the final chapter of his life. Jasmine's rumored presence in Suge's orbit may have been a way to stay close to Tupac and provide support as he navigated one of the most dangerous periods of his career. However, others speculated that Jasmine Jasmine's association with Suge went beyond her friendship with Tupac. Some viewed her proximity to the controversial mogul as a calculated move, perhaps to gain protection for herself or Tupac. Yet, this connection may have come at a cost. Jasmine's involvement with such a polarizing figure likely alienated her from Hollywood's elite, where Suge Knight's reputation was toxic. While Jasmine has never spoken extensively about her ties to Suge, the implications were clear. Hollywood's unforgiving nature may have labeled her as tainted by association contributing to the blacklisting she later described in interviews. Her presence in Suge's circle, whether intentional or incidental, added another layer of complexity to her already fascinating story. Anyway, the drama between Jada Pinkett, Tupac Shakur, and Jasmine Guy didn't stop with Tupac's death. In fact, it seemed to intensify. Jada, despite being married to Will Smith, never really let go of Tupac. Over the years, she's repeatedly paid tribute to him in interviews, sharing his his poems and letters, and even revealing how much his loss still affects her. This constant reminder of Tupac, especially in the public eye, stirred a lot of rumors about her feelings for him and what might have been. But there's something even deeper at play here, something that Jasmine Guy knows all too well. That must have been incredible because that bitch ain't been right since. For Jasmine, the loss of Tupac wasn't just emotional, it became a career altering moment. She's opened up in interviews about how Hollywood blacklisted her, essentially punishing her for her connection to Tupac. Jasmine's loyalty to him came at a personal cost and the consequences were harsh. She faced the harsh reality of being pushed out of the industry just as her career seemed to be soaring. But instead of letting that break her, Jasmine used her voice, recounting how 
being associated with Tupac changed the course of her life. In Jasmine's eyes, Jada's continued attachment to Tupac after his death wasn't just about honoring a lost friend, it was about keeping the connection alive in a way that overshadowed everyone who had been close to him, especially Jasmine herself. The lingering tension between the two women, Jada holding on to a platonic but undeniable love for Tupac and Jasmine trying to carry his memory in her own way, created an environment of unspoken rivalry. It's clear that despite Jada's outward tributes, there was resentment lurking beneath the surface, and Jasmine feels like she's been sidelined in that narrative. While Jada's actions, like repeatedly mentioning Tupac in interviews and public tributes, may have seemed harmless to many, for Jasmine, they served as painful reminders of a time when she too had been close to Tupac. But unlike Jada, Jasmine didn't have the luxury of clinging to the past. Her career had already been derailed because of her relationship with the late rapper. That created an undeniable rift between the two women, one that still seems unresolved today. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.